Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. And for those of you guys that know my channel, you would have seen this video about the 40011 error, typically with the Mavic Mini, if your gimbal calibration is out of whack. And, and subsequently, I've had lots of comments regarding Mini 2, Mini 3, and all these other drones as well. So today, we're going to take a look at what you can do to fix it, because there, is, there are solutions that you can use for other drones as well. And the best solution you're going to use is a tool called Dank Drone Downloader, because you're going to need the special um, gimbal calibration firmware. So the way that you get this is you simply go to Google, and you type in Dank Drone Downloader. And this is a website, if you click on it, it just takes you to a place where you can download the official DJI firmware. Now, if I select my drone, in this case, I'm going to select my Mavic 3. I'm just going to scroll down. You can see there's my Mavic 3. I'm going to select my firmware. And you're going to see there's all the firmware versions that are currently available. You can see there the latest firmware version is 1200. And if I select aircraft, I can click on submit. And you're going to see that I have this latest firmware. And you can see the firmware results over here as well. Now remember, this is just going to download the firmware tool to your machine. What you actually need to flash the firmware is a tool called Drone Hacks. But remember, you can still download the firmware and update it normally via the DJI 5. That's completely normal. But for our purpose, we want to use the calibration firmware. Now on this website, you are not going to see the calibration firmware. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the actual uh, application. So I've already downloaded the application and once you've opened it onto your machine, you're going to see that it is just the same as normal. And when you open up for the first time, it is going to quickly run through an update and you're going to see the following information. Now, I'm not going to expand. I'm going to leave it nice and small of you so I can zoom in a bit better afterwards. But default, you can see it's selected Mavic Air 2S. I'm just going to go and drop, scroll down the same as for the website. I'm going to scroll down to my Mavic 3 and you're going to see that there's also a bunch of firmware available and you can see there's a few things over here. So obviously the version over here and you can see ARB. ARB stands for Anti-Rollback Firmware and yes, that is a thing. DJI limits us so that we cannot roll back to all the firmware. So you can see if I highlight that firmware, what are the new features that are available and so forth. So we are currently on this latest firmware. Okay, so for us to move on, I'm just going to quickly click on the anti rollback number. You're going to see if I scroll all the way down to where my anti rollback number is and the highest number, you're going to see that this is the current firmware that my drone is currently on. This is the latest DJI firmware, and we know this because the anti rollback number is also the highest. But let's say I've got a problem with my gimbal, I've got the 40011 error. If you take a look at this firmware version of the year, 20001200, you can see it's actually called the calibration firmware. Now, you can then proceed to download the firmware to your machine. However, if you do not have uh, credits on this application, then you will not be able to do so. So what you will need to do is you need to click on this little current balance icon at the top here. A little pop-up is going to appear. I ignore this. I don't have need for this. I'm doing a testing phase over here. But you can click on refill your balance. And then you can click yes, it's going to open up a page and you can go and select whatever credits you want. If you've gone to this application and you have a few credits in there, you can select the firmware you want to and you can click on the download button. I'm not going to purchase any more uh, credits because I have already downloaded as many as I need. As you can see, I've gone and downloaded the Mavic 3 Classic Pro, Mini 2, Mini 3 and all the ones that I really need and often use. So in my case, I've already downloaded the firmware and I am now able to flash the firmware. However, what tool do you use to flash the firmware? Well, you're going to go over to the DroneHacks website. Simply just type in dronehacks.com and you will be able to go to the download page. And on this download page, you can download the application. Once you've downloaded the application to your machine, in this case 1.35, I'm going to just simply open it. And if you've got a DroneX license and an account, that's fantastic. That's great. Um, it's going to make life so much easier in the future. Um, but you do not need to have a license and log into the application. All you need to do is you need to download the application and you can go and use this flash original firmware option. Once you've got this little section, then you will be able to proceed. So over here, you can see there's also a link for us to go and download any of the applications so we can move forward. At present, you can see that it's not 
detecting anything. It's just simply idling over there. That is because my drone is not turned on and is not connected to the computer. So what you need to do is just get your USB-C cable, turn on your drone, the drone. Okay. So your drone is going to boot up, the PC is going to detect it, and then the DroneX application should then detect your drone. Once it has detected your drone, you will then have the option to flash your firmware. As you can see, automatically it has detected my drone. It shows me my current firmware. It shows me all my details about my drone and I can go and select choose firmware. Once you've got this open, then you can just navigate to the directory where you've saved your files. In this case, there is my calibration firmware and I'm going to go and click on open and I'm going to click on flash. Now you can just let it run through It's automatically going to go through the process to upload the firmware to the drone. It's automatically going to flash it exactly the same like your DJI fly app would have done by itself. You are just doing it manually. Okay. So let this whole thing run through the process. So it physically changes the firmware on your drone. And once it's complete, we can go to the fly app and we can do a gimbal calibration. And there you guys can see flashing is now completed successfully so we can now just close this we can leave the application open doesn't make a difference we have now successfully updated our drones firmware or changed the firmware to the recommended firmware and you can see it by the top left that my firmware is now on the calibration firmware so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the dji fly app on the controller and once that's done we are going to quickly move on to how to do the gimbal calibration on, on your drone. So once you've opened the Fly App application, you can tap on the three dots on the top right. You can go to About. And you can see that we are on the correct firmware. Then we're going to switch over to Control. And we're going to scroll down to where we see the calibration option. Over here, you can see the gimbal calibration. I'm going to tap on that. And you can see that it says Auto. And we're going to click on the Auto section. And we're going to run through the process. So the gimbal is going to go through its process of calibrating top, left, down, right, left, right, all of that. And you're going to let it run all the way through until it gets to about 90%. Now, this is the important part. Let it run. It's doing the calibration. In many cases, you can just let it run all the way through on this software and the error will go away. But if the error does not go away, let it run all the way to 90% and I'll show you what happens when it gets there. Okay, there we go. We're getting close to it. We're at 76%. Okay, so when it reaches 90%, you move the drone upright. As you can see, I moved the drone now and it failed the calibration because when I moved the drone, it interfered with the calibration. So I can just click on recalibrate and it is going to go through the whole process again. Like I said earlier, when you put your gimbal calibration on and it runs through the whole process, it can, just by leaving it level, it can complete and it will remove the 40011 error. But in many cases, it will not. What you will need to do is you would need to let the gimbal calibration run all the way through. And I know I've said like to 90%, but 90% is the average. Keep a look out on your gimbal. You'll see it give it a little bit of a twitch. In this case, you're going to see that that little twitch happens at 92%. It actually stands still there for a little while. At that point, you can take the drone and you can let the camera face upwards and you then let just the gimbal calibration continue. You can to see that it's going to continue and you're also going to notice that the gimbal calibration then completes successfully. This is extremely important because that is the only way that you can remove the 40011 error as well as let the gimbal calibration complete successfully. You'll also notice that in many cases, the gimbal calibration on a level surface is just going to fail constantly and that is because you need to find that little mark where the gimbal gives it a little bit of a twitch and it's usually after the 90% range so that 
you can then let the chemical calibration complete by letting the camera face upwards. So that is extremely important. So please pay attention for that. Okay, now I said 92%. And I'm going to put it upright. Keep it as steady as possible. And just let it run through this process. As you can see it goes 94. 96. And there we go. The gimbal is successful. So it's very important you guys understand that you need to let that last little bit. Usually at 90%, but if it goes past 90% and gets stuck, it uh, stops basically for a couple of minutes or seconds at 92%, then put your drone in a vertical position and let the gimbal complete its calibration. That is very, very important that you guys do that. Otherwise, the gimbal calibration is not complete. Okay, so my gimbal calibration is not complete. What I need to do now, I need to go back to the original firmware. I cannot leave it on this firmware. So I can now turn off my controller and I can get my USB cable again and I can plug it into the rear of the drone. And I'm going to go to the Dank Drone Downloader website. I'm going to select my Mavic 3 and I'm going to go to that firmware. The latest firmware that I want and I'm going to download this file. Now, this is going to take a little while, so I'm just going to let it run through the process. Excuse the fan for the Mavic 3, it's quite loud at the moment. Please apologies for that. Um, guys, while you guys are watching this, if you guys find the content that I'm making useful, please consider to click the like button and subscribe button below. It really does help out the channel. There's also going to be some affiliate links below. And it's also going to be links for all of this stuff in the description below. So please check it out. Everything you need will be in the description below. Okay, so we're just letting the file complete the download. Almost done. Just give it a second. And I've already downloaded the file directly to my drone folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my DroneX application again. Remember, I never closed it. I'm just going to click on choose firmware again. Remember, my firmware is still correct. The login successful. The, drive, the device has been detected. So I'm just going to go and click on choose firmware. And over here, you're going to see there's my latest Mavic 3 firmware. Click open click flash and let it run through the process. That is essentially it. Um, there's nothing more you do. Your gimbal calibration has now been completed by the gimbal calibration software and your 40011 error should be gone now. Now this has been confirmed working on the Mini 2, the Mini 1, the Mini SE, as well as the Air 2S and the Mavic 3 Pro Classic and the standard Mavic 3. So I really hope you guys find the content that I'm making useful this upload is just going to complete and once the upload is completed then the upgrade process is going to happen and after that we are upgraded to the latest version okay let's just run through thank you guys see you guys in the next one